Hey everybody, how you doing? Thanks for joining me today. What we're going to take a look at today in this video is determining additive and subtractive polarities in transformer coils and why do we care? Okay, so we're going to start off with a split screen like this on the top. We're going to represent our additive polarity transformer and on the bottom we're going to see our subtractive polarity transformer. Okay, um, so the first thing is how do we identify which is additive and which is subtractive? The easiest way with an additive polarity transformer is to look at your H1 and X1 terminals. Okay, in an additive, poli an sorry, an additive polarity transformer, you'll notice that they're diagonally across from each other. Okay, this indicates that we have an additive connection. Whereas when we look at the subtractive polarity, you'll notice H1 and X1 are directly across from each other. Okay, so that's the thing to watch out for, is the H1 and X1 terminals. So the first one that we're going to start with here is, uh, we're going to start with our additive polarity, but I just want to make a note that both of these transformers are exactly the same. We have a 120 step down to a 12 volt transformer, uh, and we're going to use these to kind of walk through uh, why we care about additive and subtractive polarities. If you're just using these for just a uh, step up or step down transformer, it doesn't really matter what the polarities are on the secondary. Um, but if we are using these as something like an auto transformer, then it definitely matters how we're going to connect these up. So we'll start out, we're going to fire jumper across from H2 to X1. Okay, We're going to split these two coils up because that's kind of how we're going to hook them up. We're going to connect them up in series with each other, just like this. All right, So you notice we have H1, H2 is connected to X1, okay? So this red jumper is right there, okay? So there's our 120 volt and our 12 volt coils connected in series, okay? So we got 120 volt primary, so we're gonna apply 120 volts to our primary coil. And over on our schematic, that's represented right here uh, by having 120 volts across our 120 volt coil. Okay, and if we look at the math behind these, one thing you need to keep in mind when we're dealing with polarities on transformers is odd numbers on terminals are going to indicate negative numbers and even numbers on terminals are going to indicate um, positive numbers. So if we were to think about this point right here, this point would be negative with respect to this point right here. Okay, because if we start to run through this mathematically, if we actually think about what's happening, if we go left to right, we can kind of start it out with a math formula like this. We can say negative 120 plus negative 12 volts. Okay, if we add those together, if we were to take negative 120 and add negative 12 volts, we would end up with an overall voltage measured across of 132 volts. It'd be a negative 132 volts, but it's still a potential of 132 volts. Okay, You can see why we call this an additive connection, because this coil of 120 volts plus the potential induced voltage of this coil gives us an additive voltage of 132 volts. And if we were to take a voltmeter and plug it in over here, H1 to X2, that's what would indicate, or that's what our meter would indicate, is 132 volts AC. Okay, so that's our additive connection. Anytime we take two coils and we put them together like this to get an additive connection, the voltages of those coils are going to add together to give us a higher than volt or higher than we started with voltage. Okay, if we take a look down at our subtractive polarity set here, okay, you'll notice again H1 and X1 are directly across from each other, so we'll run through the same scenario. Okay, we put a jumper from H2 now to X2. And if we break this up and show it on a schematic diagram, it should look something like this. Okay, So you'll notice H1 to H2. Now we have H2 connected directly to X2. So there again is our red line indicating that's our jumper that we put in. Okay, And again, there's our 120 volt and our 12 volt coil. Okay, And again, we're going to start off. We're going to put our 120 volts across H1 to H2, which is represented over here. There's our applied voltage there as well. Okay, Now the difference, though, is remember, as we said, the odd number terminals are going to represent negative terminals and the even number terminals are going to represent positive terminals. So again, if we run through this mathematically, what we're looking at now is we have negative 120 plus positive 12 volts. Okay, so previously in our additive, we had negative 120 plus negative 12 gave us a higher overall result. But if we look now at our subtractive down here, negative 120 plus positive 12, this will actually give me a less than we started with voltage. And we should see somewhere around 108 volts on this connection. And again, if we were to connect up our voltmeter over here, 
that's what our voltmeter would indicate to us is 108 volts. So additive polarity, when we connect it up correctly for additive polarity, we should see a higher than applied voltage. When we connect it up as a subtractive polarity, we should actually see that secondary coil subtract from the primary coil. Okay, so hopefully this has helped kind of determine, again, if you're trying to figure out if it's an additive versus a subtractive, look for the diagonal or directly across. Uh, and again, if you are determining whether it's additive, subtractive, that's going to impact what your overall voltage is in the end as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.